standing by for the handoff to Endeavor's onboard computers. T minus 31 seconds and the handoff has occurred. 25. 20. Firing chain is armed. Out suppression water system is armed. Go for main start. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, zero, and lift off for the final launch of Endeavor. Expanding our knowledge, expanding our lives in space. Houston Endeavor, all program. Roger roll, Endeavor. Houston is now controlling. Endeavor beginning to uh, roll over onto its uh, back. The roll program underway as uh, Endeavor begins the heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. now throttling down as Endeavour uh, passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Approaching one minute into the flight. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Endeavour's three uh, main engines now back at uh, full throttle, all uh, three engines in good shape. Endeavour's already uh, traveling 1,300 miles per hour at an altitude of 11 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, now 12 miles. At liftoff, uh, Endeavour fully fueled, uh, weight four and a half million pounds. It's already lost half that weight in propellant now, burned that weight. Next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Uh, that upcoming here shortly at the uh, two minute three second point, those boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of fuel per second. And standing by for separation of the solid rocket boosters. The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out any dispersions introduced at booster separation. The uh, orbiter is now traveling 3,200 miles per hour, downrange 50 miles, altitude 37 miles. All systems in good shape. Three good uh, hydraulic systems, auxiliary power units, and fuel cells. The fuel cells providing electrical power to all of the systems. Endeavour can reach uh, a TAL site in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three are in good shape. Space Shuttle Endeavour sailing into fair winds on its final historic voyage. This view looking down the external fuel tank, uh, the orbiter there on the top, as uh, Endeavour continues to power its way into orbit, traveling 4,000 miles per hour downrange, 90 miles, altitude 50 miles. Three minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. All three main engines still uh, looking in, uh, in good shape, hydraulic systems and electrical systems on board the orbiter. Endeavour, negative return. Roger, negative return. 
Endeavour can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure now, but all three are still in good shape, as are all of the other systems aboard the orbiter. Uh, quiet here in Mission Control as a team of flight controllers watches, watches over all of the systems. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, Endeavour's traveling 5,500 miles per hour. Altitude now 63 miles, traveling downrange 186 miles, or about 335,000 feet in altitude. Environmental and Control uh, Systems Officer here reporting a good flash evaporator system providing uh, cooling to all of the avionics equipment aboard the vehicle. Traveling into space on the forward flight deck is Commander Mark Kelly and Pilot Greg Johnson. Between and behind them is Flight Engineer Roberto Vittori. And rounding out the flight deck crew is Mike Fink. Roger. Press to ATO. Roger. Press to ATO. Endeavour can reach orbit on two engines should one fail at this point. However, all three are still uh, performing as planned. Down on the mid-deck of Endeavour, Drew Foistel and Greg Chamatoff. Foistel headed to the International Space Station for the first time. Vittori and Fink making their first voyage on the space shuttle after uh, flying to the International Space Station aboard uh, Soyuz spacecraft previously. Endeavour, single engine, Ops 3. Roger, single engine, Ops 3. Uh, that call indicates that Endeavour could reach a transatlantic abort site on one engine if it lost two of the three, although all three are still in good shape. Five minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Endeavour, press to Miko and single engine, Zaragoza, 104. Several calls there. Endeavour can reach a safe orbit on two engines now. The guidance system is controlling the engines to roll Endeavour to a heads-up position to optimize the air-to-ground communications through the satellite network. Flight controllers reporting to Flight Director Richard Jones are in good shape. Shutdown plan is nominal. Shutdown plan is nominal. For Mark, you're go the plus X, go the pitch. Roger, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Endeavour, single engine press 104. Roger, single engine press 104. Endeavour can reach orbit on one engine should two fail. However, all three are still in good shape. The three main engines are uh, flowing fuel through their uh, power systems at a rate uh, equivalent to draining an average backyard swimming pool in 25 seconds. Seven minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Altitude 64 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 630 miles. Endeavour is traveling 13,500 miles per hour. We're now seeing uh, throttling on the three main engines to maintain the uh, 3G or three times gravity load on the vehicle and the crew. Engines at 82% uh, of rated thrust, eight minutes into the flight, the next uh, Activity is a main engine cutoff. That's expected to be commanded at 21 seconds. And main engine cutoff has been confirmed. Flight Dynamics reporting a nominal main engine cutoff. And separation from the external tank.
Endeavor's Commander Mark Kelly now uh, firing the thruster jets to position the orbiter for uh, photography of the external tank. We did see a nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not... Copy. Nominal Miko. Ohms 1 not required. The pitch-up maneuver will allow uh, for some photography of uh, the external tank as it falls away from the orbiter uh, that uh, to uh, capture images for the uh, imagery analysis team to uh, evaluate uh, any loss of foam uh, from the tank during the launch phase of the vehicle. The residual items floating away there, uh, typically particles of ice that accumulated on the back end of the orbiter during the uh, tanking process while it was sitting on the launch pad. By all indications, all of the flight control uh, team uh, here in mission control uh, reporting normal ascent calls all the way uphill um, uh, from this early standpoint. Uh, there were no issues at all with any of the systems aboard. Board Endeavor uh, on the way uh, into space. Uh, Endeavor now safely is into space. The next big act big activity will be the um, orbital maneuvering system engine burn uh, to more cir more circularize uh, Endeavor's orbit. Currently, the vehicle's in a 136 by 36 statute mile orbit, very highly elliptical, and that will be refined um, here in the next 30 minutes to more circularize the orbit on its way to the International Space Station. That link up with the ISS scheduled for early Wednesday morning, about 6.15 in the morning is the current targeted uh, docking time of Endeavour uh, to the ISS. Again, a, uh, a fairly uh, routine ascent. All of the calls, abort calls uh, to the flight director all the way uphill uh, were uh, fairly routine. There were no uh, anomalies discussed whatsoever on the way uh, uh, uphill during today's launch. Okay, looking at uh, Richard Jones in the middle there, he is the ascent uh, flight director for STS-134. Barry Wilmore in the uh, near view, uh, serving as the spacecraft communicator. Lee Archambault just seating, sitting down there served as the interface uh, for uh, weather reconnaissance uh, with astronaut Rick Sturko, who was flying uh, shuttle training aircraft down at the Kennedy Space Center evaluating weather. And then at the top of the picture is Tony Sakachi. He served as the uh, weather flight director, and he also will be back uh, 14 days from now serving as the entry flight director for Endeavour's uh, final return home at the end of this mission. as uh, Endeavour flies. Endeavour Houston for Deltas to page 3-4 when you're ready. We are ready to copy. I'll give you your own two preliminary time for your TIG is 37 colon 00. Actually, I have no Deltas to 3-4. Tell only control, of course, will, I repeat, will be required. Copy, uh, no Deltas, tell only control is required, 37 decimal 002. That's a good read back endeavor. And Flight Director uh, Richard Jones getting a go from flight controllers for a shutdown of the auxiliary power units. Endeavor for box, you are go for APU hide shutdown. Copy, go for APU hide shutdown. Those three uh, hydraulic systems performed perfectly going uphill. Uh, also, uh, the control of the heaters for the APUs, obviously the issue that delayed the launch a couple of weeks, uh, the APU heaters uh, working just fine aboard the vehicle. 
as is the uh, flash evaporator system, which provides uh, cooling to all of the avionics and electronics equipment aboard Endeavour uh, during ascent and until the payload bay doors are opened. The door uh, opening is uh, scheduled to occur about an hour, hour and a half or so uh, into the uh, flight. 